Today I'm talking about a major shipping issue that is either tied to eBay or PayPal. Hey, it's Don. Today I just wanted to do a real quick one here on an issue that came up with one of our packages. Now this is something I bought. It's little sleeves that I ordered off of eBay. Now I ordered them through a PayPal purchase, basically from somebody who doesn't have managed payments, and I paid for the items. Didn't think anything of it at all. As time went by, the tracking showed it going to a certain point, and then I never saw any more tracking on it. Now, 12 days after I purchased the item, the seller contacted me and asked about my address, and I was kind of puzzled. Well, it turns out that the package was addressed to an old address I haven't used in almost seven years. There's no way this person could have received that address from anywhere but either PayPal or eBay. Now, I can't say where that address came from. It has not been in my PayPal account or my eBay account for at least six and a half or seven years, as I said. So that's something from history, from a historical address popped up and was used to mail one of my items that I purchased. Now, had this been delivered and accepted by the person at that address, I would be SOL. But thank goodness they marked it as not theirs and returned the item. Had that not happened, I wouldn't have a clue this happened. Now, I also asked the seller to give me a screenshot of that label just in case they weren't sending it back. And sure enough, without a doubt, it was printed through either PayPal or eBay. The labels look pretty much the same. He's trimmed it down. So I can't tell who caused the problem. I've contacted PayPal. I've contacted eBay. No one can give me a straight answer. Both of them tell me it's the other person. This leads me to wonder how on earth did an old address I haven't used in years show back up in one of those systems. Again, no one's going to admit that it was their system or the other one. Both say it was either eBay or eBay says it was PayPal. So again, I'm left in limbo as to what happened to this. I do have the item, thank goodness. But again, this leads me to wonder on some lost packages, was it sent to an address for somebody that doesn't live there anymore at all? It's a very big possibility considering I have 100% proof that somewhere in either eBay or PayPal system it has happened. Now we don't buy a ton off of eBay, so it's a very slim number of items that we do order, and to find one of them sent to the wrong address is very, very troubling. If anybody else has had similar things like this happen, please leave some comments down below. I would like to get a consensus on if this is something that's major going on all over the place, or this is just some one-off thing. Now this has me wondering if some people who have lost packages or have missing packages, maybe they're not really lost but were sent to the wrong address. This 100% happened. This is something I can prove and show without a shadow of a doubt that it did happen. Again, no one's taking claim for this at all. No one will step up and say, yes, this was eBay or yes, this was PayPal. Who knows? I can tell you 100% without a doubt, nowhere in any of our accounts is that address found. That address has not appeared in any of our accounts for years and years and years. I change everything like that constantly. Even the day this happened, I scoured everywhere on eBay, every single address spot, and then did the same thing in PayPal, and it's not anywhere. So this is a glitch of some sort that's pulling back these old addresses. Screwy as that may be, it also means that eBay or PayPal keeps these addresses in their system even after you delete them for quite some time. We're talking years down the road. Again, if you have had anything like that happen to you, please leave a comment down below so we can get to the bottom of this. I'm sure I can't be the only one out there that this happened to, but this is a serious, a major issue if those items are marked as delivered and the person who gets them isn't honest or it's dropped off when no one is at home. So again, this is major to me. This is something that can seriously affect your business. So just be careful out there. But that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
a predicament for chubby Lou. He's a ghost, all right, a relic from revolutionary days, chained to the manor by a ghostly curse. And when, in our day and age, the manor is restored and some perfectly modern people move in, what can the poor ghost do? I'm gonna haunt him. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Emily, when you first came in here, did you or did you not kick me? Oh, you felt something, eh? Uh, I, uh... I thought so. It's you they're after. Identify yourselves. Cuthbert Greenway, you know who I am. I'm Horatio Prim, the little tinker, and this is Melody Allen. We were on our way to warn General Washington about Benedict Arnold. Horatio, and then, Horatio. I mean, but I got Don't be silly. Don't you realize they can't hear us? Thank you, Dr. Greenway. Thank you. Millie! acting like a bunch of crazy lunatics. I'm going to start behaving like one myself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Probably. Ah!